Okay, let's take you inside now. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's one of those that are either locked or open. You can't actually lock it for use. And you've got your drying area. The one cubicle, second cubicle, and the third cubicle. Due to the uh, ground level, the gate doesn't go any more further back than this, which obviously obstructs the footpath, causing anyone who wishes to use it to have to come around the fence line to get back onto the footpath. It's not really safe, in my opinion, for cars or any vehicles to be reversing into a footpath. Uh, not at least without any uh, protection to separate the footpath from the car park. Here we are at the canteen. Uh, let's show you now what it's like inside. Well, this canteen is for contractors and sub subcontractors on site. Uh, as you can see, it's a large canteen, so it's designed for a lot of people. And there is a lot of people working on site. A uh, problem that we have is that for so many people, we have one small fridge, um, as you can see. It's not really much space for anyone to stick uh, their stuff in there. So if, if like 100 or 200 people wish to bring in milk on one day, uh, they're going to have a job fitting it into that fridge. And uh, we'll go over now to the uh, Sisk kitchen. As you can see from the size of this kitchen, it's designed for a small amount of people. Uh, as compared to the other canteen, which is for 200 people or more. Uh, the interesting thing about this kitchen is that it does not only contain one fridge, it contains a second fridge. So while all these subcontractors and contractors on site 
uh, rely on one fridge. Uh, Cisco management for a small team, they get two fridges. Uh, typically on a weekday I, I won't be able to fit uh, anything in the fridge over in the main canteen. Uh, it would be wonderful if I could come over here and make use of their facilities but like this nice sign says, CISC staff only. year thousands of people are injured and crippled and occasionally even killed in senseless accidents. Oh, it's true, statistically, that offices are relatively safe places in which to work. But accidents can and do happen, even there. And they happen in just the empty-headed, careless way that we've just seen.